shot. Up, oh, that is in for the win! start over again and we are off Dixon with the ball first that ball picked off by the Tigers Tigers in the purple Dixon in the white and red and we are be out of bounds still Stoutland ball Last off the Bulldogs. Stoutland inside drive. Block. We're going to have a shooting foul here. And Roston Martin first foul here. Let's take a look at that real quick. And Pendergrass will get the first free throw here. And Pendergrass will get the second free throw. So Stoutland on the board first. Two free throws early. Picked off by the Tigers. One on one. Layup. No good. Rebound Bulldogs. And we're going to have a foul on the Tigers. This is the second matchup of these two teams. Stoutland won the first one in the Frisco League Tournament. Dixon drives. Almost, but not quite there. Tigers with the rebound. Tigers will take a three. That is off target. Usually Dixon the one hits the threes here. Stoutland, another team that can score easily. So far, first minute gone out of the way, and neither team has made a basket yet here. Just free throws. And we're going to have a foul. This will be free throws heading to the line, I believe. That is Young. So Drew Young will head to the line. He's the freshman. Drake Young, his brother, is 23, the senior. Young will have two shots. First one, no good. We'll be back here Wednesday night for Lady Tiger or Lady Bulldog basketball. They'll face the Tigers of Bell, as if that game is still scheduled on. That free throw, good. Coast to coast, no good. That is partially blocked. It'll wind up in the hands of Dixon. Dixon, pass down, not there. McBride underneath, basket, no good. I believe Pendergrass with the rebound. Make sure here. Make sure you guys see what's going on. That is Pendergrass with the rebound. Two minutes gone. A two to one score. We're going to have a foul. This will be against the Bulldogs. This is on the floor. Case send in his first. Second foul for Dixon. Underneath, there's some trees in there. Ball loose. It's going the other way. Young. Stolen inside by Ash. Ash shot. No good. Rebound Dixon. Young coming down court. He will be fouled. We'll see which one of the Tigers this is on. So Isaac Hill, there was two Tigers that were right on top of him. Go, 
Drive, basket good. Bulldogs on top, three to two. Drew Young with that inside cut. Straight for the score. Pendergrass playing point. Trying to get the ball underneath. He's going to the corner. And that is Shaw. Shaw decided not to do anything with it. They're going to play Isaac Hill back to Ash. So the guards playing it safe right now. Dixon pressure underneath. Pendergrass basket up. He's going to be fouled. We're going to have some free throws coming here. That's the third foul for Dixon. Three fouls on Stoutland so far. And Roston Martin, number two for him now. We are knotted up at three apiece here. Roston Martin will take a break on the court. Yoakum will enter the game. And Pendergrass once again. This team gave the Licking Wildcats a pretty good scare in the championship game. They were second. Dixon finished third in the tournament, winning the consolation. So finished corner to their seed. I think everyone finished corner to their seed in the tournament, at least on the winner side. So Young will shoot the three off target. Shaw taking his time out there. So turnover. That will head back to the Bulldogs. Young to send in on the inbounds. So send in along with Young on the left and the right. Kind of call this a 3-2 guard offense. Sinden will drive inside. He'll take a shot. That basket is good. 5-3. to three. That's our fourth lead a change of the ball game here. And counting ties, we are having a pretty close game so far. Halfway through this quarter, three-point shot up. No good. Offensive rebound, though. And Ash got the ball back. Shot was put up by the Tigers. Steal. Morrow with try to get the assist. Young comes away with the ball. No one down there. Two on one. Basket good. Bulldogs with the big shot off the turnover. Good defense by Dixon. Young with the rebound. And Young will... Pass it to Young, so there's two Youngs out there. It is interesting. A little bit of cut by Send in there. A little three-man weave action, kind of. Underneath, Dixon. Shot is good. Yoakum with the basket. A sub, so a little bit of bread and butter there. Stalin did win the JV game. And we're going to have a turnover. Burns and Hernandez will come in for the Bulldogs. They're going to give Young a break, both Youngs. Oh, looks like one Young is still out there. One Young took a break. Drake took a break. And that shot no good. Sinden, though, able to get a hand on that and fight for the ball. Two minutes in the quarter. Young double teamed outside. Passed up the three. Instead, they'll drive. That is good. So Camden Burns, another sub coming in, adding some offense for the Dixon Bulldog team. If you can have your bench come in and score, that is a big advantage. And we have a timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this one points on the board, which I'm sure the Bulldogs are happy with right now. So 
So Sinden will bring the ball down. Young inside. He is. He better get out of the lane. Three up. No good. Ball back to the Tigers here. Tigers instead. Pendergrass outside. Underneath Morrow. That basket good. So Pendergrass to Morrow on that. And send in again. He's going to... We're going to set up the three-guard offense, as I call it here. Underneath layup. No good. Out of bounds. I believe this is... Stoutland ball. It is it is Stoutland ball. Last touched by Dixon. So Pendergrass drive. Shot up. That is good. So three-point ball game here now. Tigers four points in a row now. Under a minute in this first quarter here, and we have had a pretty competitive game so far. Dixon, shot no good. Heading the other way for Stoutland. They're going to keep going under the basket, try to get something. And nothing there. Young with the rebound. Bulldogs. Good by Camden Burns on that. Once again, one of the bench players coming in. That's his fourth point of the ball game right now. So final 10 seconds here. Stoutland going to take a shot. They probably had a few more seconds they could have spared on that. Tigers, they do have the ball and out of bounds. So we're going to go into the end of the first. 13 to 8. We'll be back in one minute with more Dixon Bulldog basketball. And start of the second here. Tigers will start with the ball. Big thank you to some of our sponsors that we have this year. Post Cab sponsor for the Lakeway Hornets this year, among other area programs. If you are needing a part-time job or full-time job, they are hiring currently. So be sure to check them out on the main strip to Fort Leonard Wood. One of our highlighted sponsors. Also, McBride with that basket. And Post Pawn Shop of St. Robert. Sponsor of not only the Frisco League Tournament, all the area schools here. And Security Bank of Pulaski County. Two convenient locations. One in Wangeville, one in St. Robert. McBride will pick up a free throw. Pendergrass will get a shot here. Or free throws anyway. They are also proud sponsors of the Waynesville Lady Tigers soccer team this year for coverage and the Lakeway Hornets and Lady Hornets basketball teams. So Yoakum back into the ball game. McBride will take a break. 15-8, Dixon on top of the scoreboard right now. They are the ones in red. Stoutland in the purple. Now 15-9. So send in back to the Youngs here. Young to Young. Young will skip it across three. That is no good offensive rebound. Too hard. Stoutland comes away with the ball. Pendergrass comes out of the huddle underneath. And Dixon with the rebound there. I believe Yoakum might have come away with that one. Yoakum, one of those players that Getting some more varsity time here. He has played JV quite a bit, but he is starting to less JV, more varsity. Young's three off target. Two on one. Dixon somehow got a hand on that pass, and it is going back to the Bulldogs. Sendin will clear it out once again, set up the uh, not quite the same offense this time. This is like a... Now they're going back to it. They will look like going to a four low there a little bit. Burns.
Burns also out there right now. And Dixon slowing things down. And we're going to take a break. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. We will see you back here again. And Dixon out of the timeout. That was their first timeout of the ball game here. Nope, that is their, yeah, that is their first time out. I was about to say I looked on the wrong screen. And we're going to have a, I believe the basket is good. We're going to have a foul on the Tigers. See the official. So Pendergrass will commit the foul. That is 17 points for Dixon now. And Drew Young will head to the line there. Drake Young and Sendin also down there for the Bulldogs. And that no good offensive rebound though by Young. Stoutland not quite under the basket, but they might have had a chance if the pass is a little bit more on target. Three-point shot by Ash. No good. Into the hands of Sinden. And the ball is loose. Somehow Stoutland came away with it there. I looked like a little rugby roll or something there trying to get the ball out. But it went into the hands of the Tigers. And just like that, we are a two-possession ball game. Dixon passes up a three. But Camden Burns again off the bench. He's going to come out and be an impact here. Ash with the shot. He'll draw contact. But Camden Burns, seven points in this ball game right now. So, And he'll pick up the foul. But it's his first foul, fifth team foul. So 4.43 on the game clock here. First free throw, no good. And I believe Tommy McBride will come back in for Yoakum. He is, he is down there. Not that I don't believe the announcer, I just uh, need to know where he's at on the floor sometimes. McBride, one of those players at underneath. He is a great asset for any team. And Young with the drive. That basket good. And once again, we're going to have a drive and a foul. This time, Morrow will head to the line. McBride's second. First free throw is good. 21 to 13, eight point ball game so far. Dixon on top right now. Stoutland earlier this year won a close game against the Bulldogs. That was to advance to the championship game of the Frisco League Tournament, and they fell to licking. Dixon wound up picking up the victory and winning that championship, or the third place anyway. So they brought home some hardware. Stoutland did too, but it's better to bring home a hardware on a happy note. Out of bounds. By the Bulldogs, Hernandez will come into the game. And Stoutland with the run. Pretty much uncontested. Shaw straight down. Not really down the middle, down the lane. And side of the lane. And he... Easy score. Three-point shot. Inside the iron. Offensive rebound. Dixon a little rusty. And Bulldogs, somehow they were able to get a basket out of that. I'm not sure how that pass made it inside, but a very nice pass. Stoutland will return with a basket of their own. 
I'm not sure if my score is right or wrong or what, but I think it should be 18, maybe. Well, I guess we'll change it to what the score says on the scoreboard right now. Camden Burns back in the game for Dixon. ball. So Stalin trapped out here and a foul. That is definitely a foul right there. Looked bad but it was just going for the ball. And we're going to have bonus here. As Hernandez will pick up the foul, his first. He's a senior. Haven't seen him playing a whole lot of basketball, but he is pretty good handling skills out here. He's holding his own right now. And one and one. Stoutland will miss the front side of it. So three, no good again. And Dixon not really feeling it today. That's something Dixon's going to have to get, and that is blocked. Clean block by McBride. Three, that, three off target. I believe into Stoutland's hands. They still have the ball. They're in the corner, though. So Stoutland's going to reset here. And again, not much spin on that. Dixon will come away with the ball that is burns i believe in descendants and then shot and i believe we're gonna have a turnover before the basket the whistle came as he was going in the lane so they're gonna call a travel i'm assuming on that and this ball And Young with that, we're going to have an injury out there. We're going to take a quick look back at that 25-16 here. Nine-point difference in the ball game. Looks like he's all right down there on the bench. And we're going to have a foul on the Bulldogs, so we'll have shooting once again. 142 on the game clock. Hernandez will pick up his second. That's the eighth team foul. Still one and one. That's going to send Isaac Hill to the line, a senior. So Isaac Hill, he'll make the front side of the one and one. And we'll see how the back side of the green looks today here. 25-17 now. And 25-18 for... Game here, Young. Inside for the Bulldogs. That is stripped away. Real good defense by Luke Ash on that. And Luke Ash passed up a three. He'll drive in. We're going to have a turnover. So, no, we're going to have an offensive foul. So Luke Ash, a player control foul. 20. It's one thing you don't see a lot as much in high school, but you get watch the college level. That is a big emphasis on if you have a defensive spot, you cannot move them from that defensive spot without, you know, reasonable means, basically. Young... Once again, Drew Young, Stoutland. They're going to go coast to coast. And we're going to have another foul. So two shots coming. That'll be number nine. After this, we'll be in the double bonus no matter what. And Will Morrow will have the two free throws either way here. 
Drake Young's first. Ninth team, Stoutland has five. Dixon has ten. And he will go two for two on that. And we are seven points now in the ballgame. Separating these two squads. And I see Young looking, trying to get the inside. Couldn't get there. Back to Sendon. Sendon, uh, corner shot. No one there. Just off. And once again, the Bulldogs, one thing they're struggling at is that three-point shot. Morrow... With the assist, I believe that is, that was Shaw on the other side of that. So, Stoutland now back into a two-possession ball game. Three, off target. We're going to have a whistle. And with that, we're going to have free throws, 13.6 seconds on the game clock. That's Drew Young. That's going to be his first. So, Drew and Drake each have a foul. And that'll send Michael Porter to the line. Not the Michael Porter that some of you are thinking of out of Columbia, but... I don't think that would be a very fair matchup down here. Yo, come back in the ball game, and looks like Hernandez will come back in the game. Okay. So he will stay back behind the line here. So free throw was good. Four point ball game now. Stoutland, they're going to come away with the ball. And a couple people are down over there. But we're going to end the first half here. 27-22. We'll be back after these commercials. And the third quarter now. Dixon with the ball. We'll be back here for girls action on Wednesday night. Lady Bulldogs. McBride with that shot will take on the Bell Lady Tigers. That is a freshman boys game first, then varsity girls game on Wednesday night. We will have the, I'll have the time closer to Wednesday. I don't know it by heart right now. And we did a score change. Doutland did have two more points than originally was on the scoreboard. So, but now it's back to four as Dixon came back out. slowing things down as they come out here. I want to thank Tim Cross, by the way, for bringing the, uh, letting me use the tripod. Mine uh, was borrowed, we'll just say. It is back now, though. It is also got a broken leg, so won't be used too much longer. That shot was blocked. Stoutland <laughs> I just about watched the Dixon camera guy here. We're going to have a foul. This one's an iffy one here. Let's take a look at it real quick. See. Let's take a look at this here. Ooh. He went into him shoulder first there. In football, I believe that would be a targeting penalty. Free throw is good. So I'll bring this within three, and that shot no good. So second free throw is off. Not saying there wasn't a foul, but... And 
Drew Young will score on the other side. They're not saying that was a foul, but not saying it wasn't either. That's not my call to make. That's why I am here where I'm at. I also have the avail availability of replay where officials do not. There we go. Hard to see that ball jumbled up for a minute there. And again, Stoutland slowing down here. It's a five-point difference now. So Dixon adding three so far. They're going to go one on three. Send in. No good. And this ball will head back to the Tigers. Dixon, full court pressure. And ball loose. We're going to have a foul. This will be at midcourt. And Luke Ash will pick up a foul. That's his second, just the first team. And we're going to hold off on my clock for just a minute here. And Young underneath. The other Young couldn't quite get the ball. Neither of them, you know, not a real good shot to begin with. And traveling call on Stoutland. And the gym still pretty loud here. The Route 66 shootout went pretty well at Waynesville there. And, you know, comparing to that, the loudness of these smaller gyms can be incredible. Newburgh's another one. It can just echo. And send in again. Good movement to the basket. Good score. And Shaw with another basket of his own. Same thing. Drove straight in. Approaching the halfway point here in the third quarter. And it is still five points right now. Bride three off target into the hands of Morrow and Morrow will pass it down. And Luke Ash with the foul. That was a, that was the foul. Offensive foul for Luke Ash. So Ash is third. Subs for Stoutland coming in. Kincaid, one of them. Uh, might be his first time, and he might have played a little bit in the first half, but if I remember right, I don't remember seeing him a whole lot out there. So halfway through this quarter here, and 33-28, this is where we would have a official media timeout, but we do not have those in high school. McBride with the bucket. Good step up and turn around. Blocked by Dixon. Stoutland still has the ball. So Dixon possession once again. And it is a seven point ball game now here. My math was a little slower on that one. Underneath, second chance. This time, Stoutland again is comes away with it. Basket off target by Stoutland. They will pick up the rebound. Pendergrass out there on the top. Was that Pendergrass? That was Pendergrass. And Morrow with the shot. 
timeout. We're going to take a one minute break. We will see you back here out of the timeout. And not much there. Knocked out by Stoutland. So still Dixon basketball. And Rostin Martin in the game now. One of the first times for him out here. Dixon has a lot of talent on the bench in these younger kids. Three, no good by Young. Offensive rebound, McBride, no good. I believe Pendergrass with the rebound. Five points separate the teams. Jump ball, both big guys going for that jump ball. But it will go back to the Bulldogs as they have the possession arrow right now. Underneath. Stoutland, they're going to Morrow with the ball outside. He will drive with the pass. Ball still loose, out of bounds, back to Dixon. So good effort by Stoutland there. The Bulldogs really close the lanes off. They did a good job of really just keeping the lanes closed. And this is, by the way, the varsity game, not the JV game. And turnover, ball will head back to the Tigers. Another turnover in this game here. These teams getting a little sloppy here. Join us on the 26th as we as the Waynesville Tigers will face. St. Pius and the Lady Tigers will face Jonesboro, Arkansas. That'll be in the Rala Holiday Tournament. And no call there. Well, I'm sure somewhere there should have been a call, but... Had a bit of a thud on that. And Burns will come back in. So Drake Young with the inbounds to Drew Young. Over to well, underneath, I believe the basket is good. And that is Drake Young. So the foul on Porter. So Drake Young with the bucket, chance to make this a three-point play. Seven-point lead now. Dixon has... Slowly shipped away, and it hasn't been easy, but they have built up a lead so far. And Dixon Bench trying to get a... Oh, we're going to have a foul. Trying to get a jump ball there. Maverick Yoakum is the foul. It's his first. Second foul for the half so far. Only three for Stoutland. So far it's been a fairly clean game, foul was. And Tigers trying to go for last shot, but Dixon's not wanting to play that game very well. Pendergrass will drive underneath. 
I believe he got his own rebound there, it looked like. Clock running down. Game clock, no good. And 38-36, Bulldogs on top. We'll be back after. And back here, fourth quarter action. <laughs> Pendergrass underneath Morrow. That is good for the assist. So just like that, we are back to a four-point ball game here. Started out a two-point game due to scoring error. Dixon underneath their own, swatted away. Still Dixon ball. Again, these two teams did square off earlier, and Stoutland came away with a victory. But it was not an easy victory. It was a close game. Dixon wound up winning their next game, and Stoutland lost in the championship. And a close ball game in that one, so the Stoutland team very competitive. Ball bounced around, a little pinball action. It's in the Dixon hands currently. That is young. Little sloppy pass for the Bulldogs. Underneath, that is good. Drew Young. Back to a six point game. Young to McBride. McBride, no good. Offensive rebound. That is partially deflected by the Tigers. Stoutland off the back of the iron. Fun fact that was mentioned to me, there have been no three-pointers in this game yet, which is usually where my highlights come from, so... But Young will head to the line. Pendergrass with his third foul, fourth foul for Stoutland. And Young should get two shots here. And he will make this a seven point difference once again. And McBride will take a break. I want to thank the Dixon Booster Club also for their contributions in making these games possible along with the Dixon School District, Home Plate Bar and Grill. Um, who else are we missing here? Gan Johnson Insurance. And that one, well, I'm not so sure about that, but. That is Burns' third foul. And Brad Shaw will head to the free throw line. So just like that, it is a five-point ball game. Sorry, the math in my head lagged a little bit. So we'll update the score just a sec here, and 44-37 here is the score. So jump ball, Dixon ball. Quite a few changes of possession in this ball game here. It has been a pretty... You know, inside the lane kind of game here. Neither team has really had much luck outside that free throw area. 
Also, not a big high, in score, high scoring game for these teams. Usually a lot higher scores going up. But so far been no one there on that and not sure who was supposed to be there, but they were not on that side at all. When you have a seven-point lead late in the game, you don't want to give up easy baskets. And once again, Stoutland. So we're going to have a timeout, and we'll be back after. Tell you what, we're going to give you a PSA this time. We will see you in. So coming out of the timeout here, Dixon still with possession. Bulldogs starting a little bit of delay game early here, it looks like. But Stoutland also kind of using the strategy, or they started the half doing this. The thing is, neither team is near a bonus, so fouling is going to take a little bit of time here. Why am I not working here? I don't know what happened here. Back to Stoutland for the ball. I'm not sure about the clock what happened there, but that was weird. Well, we're going to have a, another foul here. That'll send the Tigers to the line again. Luke Ash once again, no stranger. Drew Young, his third. And both have four team fouls now. Good. So we are back to a three point ball game here. So Dixon, not a time to panic. Get underneath right there inside the lane. And Drake Young now. We're going to have a timeout. We're going to take a. Join us here once again Wednesday night. Lady Tigers from Bell will come in to the host Dixon Lady Bulldogs. And Waynesville Tiger basketball. Girls will play Jonesboro, Arkansas on the 26th. Boys will play St. Pius out of, I believe, Festus. We'll just call them St. Louis. Stolen, Dixon, dunk, no good. And Stoutland the other way. That is blocked. And out of bounds, still Stoutland ball. And ball loose. It is picked up by Stoutland. I am. That is a travel. And I was about to say, I don't believe that was a foul. He rode that basketball somehow through there. And I don't see how there was any dribbling involved. Dixon underneath. I, wow. Sending with a beautiful basket right there. Not sure how that one even was put up, but Sending will make this a seven-point game once again. And I believe we're going to have a... We'll take a quick look here at Sending's basket real quick here. Foul on McBride, but look, that beautiful shot right there. So Pendergrass will head to the line. Seven point ball game. It 
looking back at the stream here, that is just an amazing shot, by the way. Free throw. Might have had a violation there, but free throw is good. No violation cold. Approaching two minutes in this game. Still a two-possession game by Dixon. And Stalland. Not sure if Ash was purposely trying to foul, but it looks like they might be at this point. I wouldn't say this is when you try to foul necessarily, but... So to do this effectively, you need three pretty good ball handlers here. And send in... So once again, back out a minute and 45 now. And once again, the pass underneath. That is good. Drake Young with the cut to the basket and the, and the basket. So out of bounds, still Tiger ball here. So Drew Young back in the ball game. And it looks like right now an eight-point difference. Dixon, I mean, they are holding on, this Stoutland team. The thing is, neither team has hit a three yet. That has been really a big difference. Kind of helping the Bulldogs because, well, we've got McBride and Morrow back there just tangling it up. And the ball is jump ball. It's going to be Stoutland ball still. Shot, no good. And we're going to have a shooting foul. I believe the basket is good. So Roston Martin with the foul. It's his third. Five for the Bulldog, or six for the Bulldogs. Timeout. We're going to take a, tell you what, let's see our group of videos here. So Dixon basketball still out of the timeout. Dixon under a minute here. They have a lead, which is the important part. So Stoutland has to do something to either steal the ball, force it away from them, and not sure about that one. Stoutland with the rebound. That is blocked and save on the score, so good job for Dixon, but not sure about the strategy there of going for the score so early. Pendergrass, he'll square up for the three. That is off. And that foul will be the sixth team foul here. It is not one and one. I don't know what we're doing. That is number six. I'm not sure why we are shooting, but... Let's say it is not a shooting foul, yet that is only number six. So, okay, now we are squaring everything up here. So Dixon, 32 seconds here with a half a minute to go. And this time Dixon will shoot free throws, so five point ball game. That is fouls on Shaw, his second. That will be one and one. And Dixon really uncontested here on the one and one. And the one thing that Stalin probably wanted they got right there. 
Dixon doesn't need to foul. They just need to get the ball. And Dixon will have the ball, and that is Young swarmed, I believe. So Drew Young will have some free throws coming up. Michael Porter, his second. And that's the eighth team foul now. Both teams in the bonus, but Dixon is going to, with 15 seconds, they have a secure. And the free throw up. That is off again. And I believe that might have been encountered Stoutland, but it is going to be Stoutland ball. But with 15 seconds, Dixon out of bounds. Should be Dixon ball. So just like that, Dixon with the ball. They'll have it underneath. The positioning here does matter. They may have... Might be in the wrong spot here, but we're going to have a timeout, and we'll be back. We're going to take a break after, tell you what, this PSA here. So Dixon here. And look for a foul. They will get the foul. Ten seconds now. Free throws coming for the Bulldogs. Shaw's third, but at this point, the fouls individually don't matter a whole lot as with 10 seconds to go, that free throw is honestly probably enough to win this game right there. One more will seal this up. It would take two threes right now to tie. And that one not there, but the ball, it's going to run out. So jump ball will head to Dixon. Dixon will pick up the victory here. They will avenge a Frisco League tournament loss. And they will... And that one... Not sure about going for the ball there, but McBride will head to the line. Dixon will win this ball game. It is two free throws. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us here Wednesday as we will have the Lady Tigers. McBride, good. Lady Tigers will face Bell. And then the Waynesville Tigers and Lady Tigers on the 26th from Missouri S&T. And that'll do it. That will end this game. A few more seconds to go. Well, not quite. We got one second, I guess, of play left. McBride, after the two free throws, he will get the final stat of the game, possibly, here. So shot to the line, but 1.6 seconds to go here. Dixon can just throw the ball in bounds, and whoever grabs it will run it out. And that will do it. Your final score here. Thank you for joining us. 53-46. Have a great night. We will see you all in two days. Dixon Lady Bulldogs. And freshman Bulldogs will face Bell. Shot up.